Dear students, to illustrate partial pivoting, so please consider the following example. So in this example, this is the mat augmented matrix. And this part is the matrix of coefficient. And this is the matrix of constants. To locate largest element in first column, we need to perform the following operation. In the scaled partial pivoting, so we have to construct this matrix of maximum values, absolute or matrix of absolute largest values. So just look in the first column, the largest value is seven. And in the second, uh, in the first row, the largest value is seven. And in the second row, the largest absolute value is two. And in the third row of the matrix of coefficients, largest absolute value is four. And in the fourth row in the matrix of coefficients, the largest absolute value is five. Okay, now we have to decide that in with which row we have to interchange the first row containing pivotal element as one. So there are two similar entries and but this scaled partial pivoting will decide that with which row we must have to interchange this first row. Okay, so let's uh, compute the scaling factor. 1 by 7 and 0 by 2 equal to 0, 2 by 4 equal to 1 by 2, and 2 by 5 is equal to 0.4. So just consider uh, these values and we will decide one. Vector i1 presents all entries of first column in augmented matrix and as si presents largest absolute value in each row of the matrix x a. Corresponding to scaling factor 0.5, largest scaled element is in first column of augmented matrix is 2. So because 0.5 is greater than all the values in this section, so the row corresponding to 0.5 is row third. So this will decide that row third will be interchanged with row first. So that is why A31 will be considered as the pivotal element. So therefore we will interchange first row with third row. Okay. <clears throat> Keep in mind when we interchange or swap first row with third row, the first row of this matrix will, al will also be interchanged with third row. So see here, 7 is replaced with 4 and 4 is replaced with 7. And we just have swapped 7, the first row with third row. That is, we replace 7 with 4 and 4 with 7 accordingly. So then here we will perform operations on the first column. That 0 is already 0, 1 will reduce into 0 and 2 will reduce into 0. So the operation on the first column are completed. So now in the second column or the second diagonal entry is two. We will repeat the similar process to select which one is the right pivotal element in this second column. So the second, because the first row now is fixed and we have nothing to do with the first row. So the matrix under consideration is matrix of order three by three. Okay, so the first column of this matrix is two minus nine by two and minus four. And what's the remaining of this the matrix of absolutely largest values? Because now the first row is nothing to do with. So we will have two, seven, five, and we'll perform the similar process the two by two equal to one and minus nine by two over seven with a nine by 14 minus four by five, four by five. And which one is the largest value is the one 
So one is corresponding to second row. So this is the second row. It means we have nothing to perform any further interchange or swapping. So that is why it, no need to interchange rows. Okay, so just see here, no need to interchange rows. Now perform Gaussian elimination by using A22 as pivotal element. So this second column will be reduced into 0, 0. And we will move on to the third diagonal entry, which is 5 by 4. <laughs> we perform the similar process. OK, so 5 by 4 minus 1 is the matrix. And SI, the matrix of largest absolute values, will 7, 5, because we have nothing to do with this <coughs> the second row also we will remain with 7 5 okay and now we will compute <coughs> 5 by 4 over 7 is equal to 5 over 28 and <coughs> 1 over 5 equal to 1 over 5 and <coughs> what is the result is 0.2 is greater than 0 0.17 so it means this 0 0.2 is corresponding to the row, this fourth row. So that is why we will now interchange fourth row with third row. So now <laughs> this pivotal element will become minus one and we will perform the same operation. And this five by four will be reduced to zero. So just observe that after performing these operations, we will have this upper triangular matrix. And what we need, we have done with the Gaussian elimination method because we have reduced this matrix of coefficients into an equivalent upper triangular system. And here we can perform this backward substitution method and we will get the solution. Okay. So next is the total R. Full pivoting to illustrate total pivoting strategy, we proceed as follows. So this is the matrix of coefficients. Locate largest element in row i greater than or equal to 1 and column j greater than or equal to 1, which is a 1, 4 is equal to 7. So this is actually the largest uh, element in the first row. And what we need to do is that we need to bring this value to the first diagonal entries. Okay. So interchange first column with fourth column. It gives first column with four column. It gives this seven as a pivotal element. So then we will perform operation with this one and we will have this first column according to the desired <coughs> situation. So now perform Gaussian elimination by using A1 equals 7 as pivot element to give this. So the second diagonal entry is 2. Okay. And now we will look the largest value in the matrix of order 3. 3 by 3. So what is the largest value in the uh, in this matrix is actually uh, minus 41 by 7. So minus 41 by 7 is here. So we just need to interchange this third row with the second row so that minus 41 by 7 will become as the pivot element. So interchange this second row with the fourth row and we will have this matrix. Okay. So then we perform the operation on this column and we will have this 0 and 0. So now we will move on to the next uh, diagonal entry, which is minus, which is 59 by 41. So we actually have this 2 by 2 matrix now. Look here, this one. 2 by 2 matrix. So next we will search which is the highest value in this matrix is 121 over 41. 
So interchange third column with fourth one because this 121 over 41 should be the diagonal entry and ultimately the pivot element. Okay, so we have interchanged these two column and we are left with 121 over 41 as a pivotal element. And we perform the operation with this one and we have this zero. So what we have done, we have actually reduced the system of given equation into as an equivalent upper triangular matrix form. And now we can perform this backward substitution method and we have got the result, the solution. Okay. So we can revise this lecture again. Scale partial pivoting. In the scale partial pivoting, we have to compute this matrix of absolute largest values and then we have to uh, compute the scale factor with the first column and after computing this scaling factor we will make a comparison which is the largest value and in which row this largest value lies so then we will interchange the first row containing the pivotal element with the row containing elements with the largest scaling factor so that is actually the process we repeat this process and we have obtained the solution and in full pivoting or total pivoting we will seek the largest value in first row and second row third row and fourth row in whole of the matrix and we will brought this largest absolute value at the diagonal so seven is the largest absolute value in the matrix of order four by four which is actually the matrix of coefficients so then we bring this seven to the diagonal entry and we perform operation with this and reduce this uh, column uh, as desired so then we have performed the same procedure on the next column okay except this first row okay and now the matrix of coefficient is reduced to three by three okay so in, with the three by three we again search the largest value is minus 41 over seven okay and minus 41 over seven we have actually brought it to the this diagonal entry and we perform this operation and in the similar way we have transformed matrix into an upper triangular matrix and we have achieved the solution of this matrix so so it's not so complicated but after performing this scaled partial pivoting it will ensure the solution even by gaussian elimination method or gauss jordan method so that is the main advantage of performing uh, pivoting and the pivoting strategy will ensure also uh, efficiency. It will improve the efficiency, efficiency and reduce the error. So that is all with this lecture. And in the next lecture, we will discuss with more examples.